you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What is happening guys? My name is Alex and awesome you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, so it means a new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to speed up your footage. I'm gonna say not like a time lapse, but you can see this like a mini time lapse or something. So but you can use this actually to create time lapses if you just, you know, set your camera somewhere and shoot a very long time and you can just make it in a few seconds just by speeding it up. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so basically, as you can see, I have just a random video of me here, you know, talking, whatever. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to speed up. So basically, the first thing you need to do and the most, this is the most easy way to do and it's not, it's gonna take you just a few seconds. The only thing you need to do to speed this up is just hold control and go to the last part of the video while you see this little icon which says trim event end. So you wanna hold control and then hold your left mouse but drag it to the left. You're gonna see all those lines. That means it's just, it's sped up. So let's put it to the maximum, boom, like this. What you're now gonna see is just me um, talking, uh, you know, very fast, like just a speed up video. So this is how it looks. So as you can see, it's, it's 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 very it's going very fast as you can see that's how simple it is it's it looks funny to see me space and you know so basically that's it for this video guys i know this is like a like a one minute video but i just want to make a video and show you guys something really easy and just not make like a video of something really simple and you know ramble on for like five minutes that would be boring for you if you want to see more of the stone vegas tutorials every wednesday at 1 p.m pst and 10 p.m cet <laughs> You can just hit the subscribe button down below and if you find this video helpful you can leave a thumbs up down below as always appreciated. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. What is happening guys? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, it means a new video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how to blur a certain part out of a video because I see a lot of people like struggling with like how to blur out a face or like a license plate. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do it. So with that being said and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. So as you can see, I have Sony Vegas open right here. I'm going to use the example, a license plate. So let me drag in the car picture real quick. There we go. Okay, so first of all, you want to create a new video track on top of the track you already have. I'm going to right click, create video track or insert video track. And you just want to duplicate this. You just want to control C, control V, or just right click and then copy and just paste it. Basically that we have two of the same tracks. So basically, I'm going to explain to you why you need two tracks. The first one is the track that you are going to mask out your part. How this works is when you mask out a part, you only see that part. So for example, if you blur out the license plate without the track underneath it, you're only just going to see the license plate. So basically you just want to drag another one in so that you only see the car and the blurred license plate. Okay, so basically the first thing you need to do is you want to click on this little icon which says events pan crop then you have this window that pops open and at the bottom you want to click on mask and here comes the part where you need to select the part that you want to blur so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so let me zoom in by scrolling and right now we're just going to select the parts that we want to mask out that we want to blur so we're just going to go ahead and select around the license plate as you can see right there boom and this is what happens if, when you don't have the track underneath it. So we have only the license plate, as you can see. Put that back in place. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the effects um, to blur it out. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to the video effects tab. And then in the list, we're going to look for pixelates right here. And we're just going to drag the default one on the top track. So basically, as you can see right here, nothing is... Um, on the action, nothing is blurred yet. So let's say if we drag up the top marker a bit to the right, as you can see, the license plate is starting to get blurred. So this is like this is like too much, as you can see, but this is like too less. You're gonna see, still see the details. So you just want to mess around with it until you're happy with it, and when you don't actually see the part, that's the point of you know blurring something out. So right now, that's that looks good. So people won't see like that is the number plate of that and that letters. So that's how simple it is, guys. If you want to see more of these Vegas tutorials, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you find this video helpful and you don't want to miss out on any new videos, feel free to subscribe down below. It's totally free. You will get updates when a new video goes live. Don't forget to look back on my channel next week, Wednesday, for a new Sony Vegas tutorial. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. What is happening, guys? My name is Alex, and awesome that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, so it means a new video for you guys. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make like these really cool, explosive, you know, intros that you see on YouTube. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I have Sony Vegas open right here, as you can see. Let's say I want my name just to zoom in, and when my name is, you know, stop zooming, just when it's in the, in the screen, I want an explosive 
explosion. So let's start off with my name. So we're going to go to media generators. We're going to click on titles and text. We're going to drag that one in the timeline. So let's say I want my name. So I'm just going to write just Alex Halford. Okay. So now that we have my name centered, I'm just going to like a cool use the nice font. So let's just look up for some fonts that would look cool. So I'm going to use, this is a nice font. Let's say I want to use this. Okay. So we're just going to close that out. And basically the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to transitions and we're going to click on zoom. We're going to drag that one to the beginning of your track or your piece of text or whatever. So we're going to drag it to the edge. Then we're going to see this dialog and you don't want to change anything on this one. Just close the dialog right here. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit. And this is the part where you can just adjust the speed. So let's say we want to like a really slow. You're going to just drag this one to the, to the right. As you can see, it's going to zoom in really slow. So we, we don't want that. We just want a really nice fast intro. This takes way too long. So let's drag it like to here because that's like like more in your face. So that's maybe also a little bit too slow. Put it like this. Boom. There we go. So let's say that we want this as a transition. So we are ready. We're done with the zoom. So let's say we want on the moments that it stops zooming like right here. Let's say we want an explosion. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to YouTube, of course, and you just want to type in explosion effect. You want to just click this video because it's with the green, it's not that handy. So I'm going to just click on this one and you can also hear it. So that's, that, so that's the explosion. Just copy that link and just, just download the video. Download the video as MP4 onto your computer. So once you have that, you just want to go back to Sony Vegas, of course, and you just also just want to drag that explosion in. So we're going to put it like this. We're going to put it like this. Okay, so we're going to make a separate video track. So I'm going to click on video track. We want the explosion above the text, of course. So let's say we just want my name. And now we're going to match when this when the zoom stops with the beginning of the explosion. So it has to be like this. So let's say we're just going to drag it and we're, going to, we're just going to match it so that it, you know, looks even. Okay, that looks pretty good, but as you can see, my name disappears, and that's because this track is above it. So basically, what we're going to do with this one is we want to change the mode so that only the explosion is visible. So I'm going to go to this little icon right here, and we're going to put this one on screen. And now you can see the explosion is only there, and you will see my name. This is what it looks like. When it stops, the explosion begins, so we're just going to match that real quick, see if, it, if it's going to be right, you know. And as you can see, this is totally black and the background is like a little bit gray. So we're going to make that black with the simple, the simplest thing to do is go to video effects, brightness and contrast, and just mess around with the markers until it's black like this. Then the explosion is still visible and it has a black background. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, so basically that's how simple it is. You want to just drag the footage in and just match those two, this transition and where the explosion starts. And as you can see, it looks really awesome. And you can use sound effects and all that kind of stuff. So basically that's it for this Sony Vegas tutorial, guys. If you want to see more of these Sony Vegas tutorials, feel free to subscribe down below if you won't miss out any new updates. And if you like the video and you find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. So, and I basically, as I always say, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. What is going on, guys? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, so it means a new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add this like really cool smoke effect. So last week in the previous episode, I showed you guys how to make like an explosive intro. And if you want to see that video, you can scroll down to the description down below and check out the Sony Vegas tutorials playlist and you can find all the videos there but in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add this like really cool smoke effect so without further ado let's jump right into it okay so basically as you can see um for an example I'm going, I'm going to use a outro of mine of a Akinator episode together with Altaged Official uh, like that we did basically I'm going to add some white smoke um above you know on top of this uh, track already so basically the first thing you want to do is you want to put your video track or whatever in your timeline and then what you want to do is you want to create a new video track by right click on the video track insert video track and then you have another one on top of it so you will always want to smoke on top of the video track so what you want to do is you want to open up a new tab in your browser i don't know if you're watching on, the, on your phone i don't know but if you're in front of the computer open up a new tab and go to youtube.com and just type in in the search bar uh, white smoke black background so i just picked as you can see the the one that came up first that's like hd i just clicked on it and basically what you want to do with this 
video is you just want to download this video to your computer it doesn't matter what kind of program you use what kind of website you use you just need to have this video as an mp4 or whatever format on your computer to be able to create the smoke effect so once you've done that you just want to drag in your smoke video and we're going to just delete the audio track right here right click delete track because we don't need any audio so the first thing you want to do is you just want to put this one on top of the video track as you can see Dude, f oh, oh, fucking hell, man. And I can already hear you guys like, Alex, I don't see anything of the Echinator track. Uh, so basically, and that's why the compositing mode of the video track of the smoke is not correct. Want to change the compositing mode. You just want to click on this little green icon, which says compositing mode. When you click that, then you put this one to screen. And I'm about to click it, but I just want you guys to look at the preview screen right now. So basically, I'm going to click on screen. Boom, there we go. We do, we will see the track again. As you can see, if I play it back, there's like coming some really cool smoke effect, as you can see right here. So as you can see, it's an awesome uh, way to add in smoke and you can um, download different videos from different kind of smoke with black backgrounds. You can do whatever you want. Look how good it looks and you know, it's, it's crazy because this is like HD smoke. You can see it, it's like really awesome and the smoke is like so nice and, and nice quality. Basically, that's it. That is how to add smoke. It's really simple. Just download a video with a black background, put the smoke in a video track on top of the track that you already have, change the compositing mode to screen, and boom, that's it. You only need to do three things. Always make sure priority number one is get a black background, okay? Because we don't want to have like dark gray because you're going to be able to see it. So if you like those videos and you find this video helpful, uh, feel free to give a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you want to see more of in Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 1pm PST and 10pm CET, you can hit that subscribe button down below so you will be notified for free when I upload a new video. So basically, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching too in Sony Vegas tutorial. This Wednesday is a new video for you guys and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an intro with a template, okay? So I've made a previous tutorial where I showed you guys like how to make an intro with like yourself with all the effects you know manually. But I'm going to show you guys how to make an intro use just using a template. A template is basically um, a pre-made kind of intro that you can customize to your to your wants and needs. So so with that being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have Vegas open right here, and the thing you need to do is go to Google for a second, as you can see right here on Google, and you want to type in Raven Pro Design. Then you come on this page, and you want to click on its website, and then you come on this page or the website from Raven Pro Design and the thing you want to do it depends on what kind of Vegas version you have so if you have Vegas 10 you click on this if you have Vegas Pro 10 you want to click this one if you have 11 click here 12 13 so I have 13 so I'm gonna click right on here and as you can see we have all kinds of different you know intros so we can just um, watch them like let's say I want to watch this one you can actually watch it before downloading it. So that's just your name there, as you can see. So you just wanna, you know, if you say like, okay, nice, I wanna have that one, you just cl simply click on download. You can't miss the button, you know. And then you have this, you know, ad fly uh, thing. You just wait five seconds and you wanna click on skip ad. And as you can see right now, it's just start download. Screen should pop up right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna click on download and then it's just a uh, zip file, um, save it to your computer. There you go. And the next thing you want to do is wait until your um, template is downloaded. So I'm going to skip the video real quick. So let's move on to the part when the template is downloaded. Okay, so as you can see, I have um, the zip file open right here. So basically what we're going to do, you want to click this one and you want to just extract to it. So we're just going to extract everything that's in the folder. So go to your um, PC and just choose where you want your files to be extracted. So let's go to the folder. As you can see right here, we have this map. We're going to click this one. And this is basically everything you need. So we have the sound, as you can see right here, and then we just have the transition. So let's open the first one, which says Sting version clean wall. So we have to open it in new thing. Normally, the template should be playing and you're ready to go. So let's, so let's give this a shot. Wow, that, look, that looks actually really good. So basically, when you have your template, and as you can see right here, you just want to click on this little icon, and then you can just remove the word. And let's say I want to have my name. There we go. Close it out. And as you can see, we have this really epic intro. Look at this.
Isn't that cool? So basically that's how you make a intro with a template. So just find some templates online um, and just download them, open them in Vegas and just put in your names, your details, whatever you want. And then basically you end up having like a really awesome, you know, template. So that's how simple it is. So guys, if you want to see more of these Vegas tutorials, I have to mention though, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CET, that's going to change a few weeks. I'll let you guys know in an update video as you can check it out on my channel. And um, yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. So that is it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow